Wandering Winter with day two of previews for Dominion Prosperity, second edition. Let's jump right in. Um, so we're getting Venture replaced with Crystal Ball, which seems not so much a prosperity thing to me, but whatever. Um, this is an interesting, this new set symbol, like some kind of a cut diamond? Anyway, um, Crystal Ball, five cost treasure, gives one money, and it says, look at the top card of your deck, you may trash it, discard it, or if it's an action or treasure, play it. Okay, um, I mean, the, the main thing here has got to be the trash it, right? Um, which makes this almost more like loan than venture to my eyes. Uh, and it's, how good is it at, I mean, so unlike loan, this can trash estates or, or curses. Unlike venture, if you're trying to play something with this, you're very much at the mercy of what's actually on top of your deck. Um, Venture was more like a peddler. This strikes me as more like a junk dealer, but like quite a quite a bit worse than junk dealer because uh, you can't. Well, worse than junk dealer at being a junk dealer because you can't. You don't have so much decision as to what it is you're trashing, or I guess doing whatever with. There are going to be exceptions, of course, where you can set up the top card of your deck. Uh, courtyard. This probably actually combos more with Courtyard than Venture did. Uh, Secret Passage. S is it Civil that's the six-cost card from that one pile from Al? Anyway. Um, yeah, there are ways that you could set up the top card of your deck, but it's... I don't know, it's kind of like Zombie Mason in terms of the trashing. Uh, so, I mean, and, and that looks to me like the main use for this card, which it just doesn't seem that good at. But I guess it's, you shouldn't think of it as just that, because later on it also plays stuff. I mean, the issue with this card is still kind of the same issue as with Venture, in that if you're trying to draw your deck. Um, this isn't going to do... This is going to be like an expensive copper once you have drawn your deck, which is going to make it uh, pretty bad for those decks. Um, if you're playing money, then... I mean, I guess this is better than Venture early because you can trash, but later on, the fact that, the fact that it doesn't always hit a treasure, it might even be worse. I don't think, I mean, I imagine this is probably stronger than Venture overall, but I don't think it's a lot stronger. Well, I mean, I, I guess if there isn't other trashing, this is trashing, which I I guess helps it. But, like, it, it kind of has the doctor problem as a trasher, too, right? Where it's hard to clean out the last bits. It's not going to be reliable at hitting later on. The, the higher proportion of your deck becomes good cards, the worse this is at trashing, in particular because you don't get to set up to trash like exactly what you want. In most cases, it's kind of random, so it's going to be, it can trash a bit for you, but it's going to be real, real difficult to actually get you clean, clean. So I don't think this card is very good. It also just, the kind of random nature of it early on I guess Sentry is probably a better a better comparison than um, than 
and then doctor and this just looks so much worse than sentry you don't get the card in action unless you're playing the card but then you're not trashing you get less filtering is i mean i guess you get a money but um yeah i mean we have several we have sanctuary and junk dealer and upgrade and sentry and those cards all seem like quite a bit better than this i'm sure this will have its uses but it seems like really the weaker end of this effect to me um let's move on actual loan getting replaced with investment four cost treasure trash a card from your hand and then choose one plus a money or trash this to reveal your hand for plus a VP per differently named treasure there. So you will, in either of these cases, probably want to play this before your other treasures quite frequently. Um, unlike loan, this isn't going to hit a treasure. It's going to cycle you less. It costs more. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, it can trash any card from your hand. That makes it like like Forager, kind of. Uh, it always gives you a money back. So that maybe probably makes it a better opener than Forager, although it costs four instead of three. Uh, but in the Forager, Goat Herd kind of area. And then once this gets bad, you can trash it and get, I don't know, probably not a lot of points, but a few points. Um, uh, like you have a copper left, you have another one of these left. You have a silver, yeah, you can get a few points out of these. Um, if you just wanna use this as a point source, let's say in a game with only these, you're gonna have copper, silver, gold, this. Uh, you could trash most of these for four points. So that's actually also quite a number of points. If you can, like if you can draw a decent chunk of your deck, this could help as a comeback mechanism. Um, Cause you only need one of each of those treasures, which is fine. And then if you have other specialty treasures, supplies, crown, whatever, this could be a lot of points. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, this card looks pretty darn strong. Reasonable trasher early, not a great trasher, but reasonable. And then um, either it's going to bail out of your deck once you're done with it, while also scoring you some points, probably, which is the decks that want trashing usually also like having extra sources of points around. Um, so yeah, uh, and then sometimes even if this, if even if there is better trashing around, you pick this up just because it's stack of ten of these is you know forty points or thirty nine points or forty nine points, whatever. Um, which is a lot, a lot of points. Um, and it goes out of your deck while scoring you. Like, yeah, w once you get drawing, I can imagine. I mean, honestly, even, even just, this is kind of like Bishop in some way, even just a golden deck of gold, silver, copper, this, this, right? You play one of these, you trash it, you score four points, you do that the next turn. Yeah, and then or, or you you buy another one, right? And you and you repeat. And then at the end, you buy another gold and you can be provincing or whatever. And that's just like, I've only thinned down. I imagine with drawn stuff, you do two of these, whatever. It's a big, big, big point source. Uh, this card is really going to encourage building, I think. It looks much stronger than loan to me also much stronger than the card we reviewed above it that's the venture replacement um honestly maybe even stronger straight up even though this costs four and that costs five yeah th this card looks looks pretty strong to me 
pretty strong. That's I mean that's reasonable trashing and oh oh you do have to trash a card from your hand. Okay. So it's not like you can't do that golden deck thing. My bad. But I mean it's still a lot of points if you can build a bit. Uh, you, you do need to be able to gain like multiple cards a turn. Ill-gotten gains, <laughs> and this is a golden deck, kind of? Yeah, not quite, but um, still, yeah, this, uh, this, this still looks quite strong to me. I mean, even just the, the top part is not that bad, right? Trash a card as a treasure, so you can't draw it dead, it's not terminal, whatever. Trash a card from your hand, get a money, is, I guess, better than Forager in general, I think. Like, yes, it can't be plus buy, but whatever. Um, yeah, this this looks pretty strong. Not a top tier trasher, right? Because it only trashes one card at a time. But um, still closer to probably closer maybe midway between junk dealer and, and forager which is not really a bad place to be it only costs four i think i'm gonna get a, be taking this in quite a large number of games um although i'm probably usually going to hope that there is a better thinner out there still uh strong but not overly strong let's move on to the last card for the day which is Clerk, a four-cost action-reaction attack. Oh, is this the first reaction attack? This might be the first reaction. I've long wanted a reaction attack. Anyway, uh, four-cost action-reaction attack, plus two money. Each other player with five or more cards in hand puts one onto their deck. And then at the start of your turn, you may play this from your hand. Um, okay. That is not a trivial attack. It is probably quite a bit weaker than Militia. Although, yeah, I mean, it depends a bit, right? So, like, if you're playing a money deck, it's probably quite a bit weaker than Militia because you can... I mean, the, the top decking still tends to hurt more, but it also gives you this effect where you're... Sorry, if you, as the one being attacked, are playing a money deck, the the, the top decking effect anti-cycling you has some negatives for you, but you can also use this as a smoothing factor to some extent. Given that it's only one card, not like Ghost Ships 2, then... Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. It, it. Two cards off of Militia, I, I think, is going to hurt you more in that case. On the flip side, if you're trying to draw, then, right, on a Militia, you just discard, like, two payload cards. Here, you have to top deck one of them. And it's not two cards, it's only one but you're going to have to redraw the thing. So... I mean, this this doesn't look like it hurts as much as, say, Archer, but it still it might hurt those decks more than Militia in some cases. Um, and Militia is strong. And then this also has the reaction effect where it's probably not really reliable if you're drawing too much, so like if you are trying to draw your deck, that this will be effectively non-terminal and just better than silver, um, which I guess makes this nudge you a bit more towards money in comparison to some of the others, right? Uh, because in that case, it is basically like a better silver if you're not drawing many cards. Now, if you're drawing some cards, you do have to worry a little bit about it, its terminality, but... Uh, but like a, a, if you're not drawing many cards, a big chunk of the time you're going to be able to uh, to just react this. Um, in which case, it's like a big benefit over silver. So this this card also seems reasonably good to me. Um, like in a lot of cases, you're going to get one to maybe two. 
maybe a, a little more if you're if you're playing money and not drawing. Um, but like you often want to open with some kind of silver silver equivalent anyway. And yeah, if uh, if this is around, this is probably you know the one you're going to want to open with because it gives you the money, whatever, and uh, kind of like patron in that sense. Maybe I'm just thinking that because they're both blue. Uh, this card seems pretty good. Um, not a not a world breaker, world beater game breaker I'm combining those two things not a world breaker by any sense but uh, I think that's a magic the gathering card anyway um, that's my opinion to here apparently there's one more day of these previews tomorrow um, from the time I'm recording and posting this so we'll catch you then as always comments questions ideas things I've missed combos anti synergies what have you on any of these cards Leave them in the comments section, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.